All right, first exercise we're going to look at is a door frame lateral raise. Uh, the door frame lateral raise is to work on the shoulder girdle musculature. Uh, the shoulder girdle musculature, as we said, is attached to the rest of the postural musculature. So when any stand-up exercises we have people do, you're always standing back up against something. It can be a door frame with a bead in it. Uh, you might find that you want to, if you can't find a, a door frame, say if you're in a fitness center, you might use the corner of something like this. You could use the corner of a column. Uh, or you could use a piece of upright equipment. So if you got your back against the equipment, that would also give you the, your template for posture. So once we're in our door frame, your feet can be six to eight inches out from the edge of it and a little bit apart. Uh, we want to get the low back neutral. Now neutral is not all the way flat, it's not all the way arched, it's halfway in the middle. So very often I'll have people arch their back all the way, keep the hips against that, and then flatten all the way, and then come back to about the mid-range of that. So usually there's about a finger gap, just a finger gap, between uh, that bead and his spine. Then you want your head back with the chin down so you're, he's looking dead straight ahead. Now, if, we're, if he were to have extremely poor posture with a really bent posture, he can't get his head back there without tipping it all the way back, which we don't want. So we may have him, if he's really posturally compromised, He'll get his low back neutral and then push the head back as far as it'll go. Don't worry about touching the wall and still looking straight ahead. We find that when we start people like this, within two or three weeks, they go, oh, I can get my head back to the wall now, which means they have a much better control of the posture. But Will can touch the wall, head down, low back neutral. Now the lateral raise, you're going to raise the weights to horizontal so that as your arms go up, these flashlights, if these were flashlights, they would face the ceiling. You want your wrist neutral and you want your elbows soft. So we don't want the elbows locked out, just soft wrist neutral. So that's perfect form. And you just go to horizontal with this. Uh, if you were to have a little bit of shoulder impingement, you might not go all the way to horizontal. I've had people go 70, 80 degrees, not quite getting the full 90. Um, but you should feel most of the work in the shoulder girdle, rotator cuff musculature. You want to do two sets of 15. So you want to pick a weight that's heavy enough where you're working to get your 15 reps. If you feel like you can do 18 or 20 repetitions, go to a lighter weight. If you feel like you can, I'm sorry, heavier weight. If you, can, uh, if you can't get to 12 to 15, then go with something a little bit lighter. But a simple exercise, lateral raises, uh, two sets of 15. And next we'll go to bench flies on the foam roller.